So let's talk about gametogenesis. There's only one syllabus objective here. Within the process of meiosis 1 and 2, compare and contrast the process of spermatogenesis and oogenesis with reference to haploid and diploid cells. Okay, so let's get into it then. Gametogenesis is the production of gametes and that occurs in the gonads. So in males that's the testes and in the females that's the ovaries. Males produce sperm in a process called spermatogenesis and the ovaries produce ova and that's a process called oogenesis. And don't forget that the gametes, the sex cells, are haploid. So spermatogenesis first of all. So you don't need to know this in any detail here. And then we have a process of meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 to produce our haploid cells. And as you can see, we have four sperm cells from every, um, I guess, every, every cycle of the meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Now, this occurs in males uh, as a continuous process, and I'm going to contrast that with oogenesis in a moment. And it occurs from puberty for the, all of the adult male's life. Now, let's compare that with oogenesis. This is a discontinuous process. So all of the eggs that a female is ever going to have, they have in their ovaries at birth. But we've only just started the process of meiosis. And it actually stops there at birth and doesn't continue again until uh, puberty. After puberty, we progress through to um, a little bit further through the meiosis process and then we get further um, development through the meiosis process at ovulation but we don't finalize the meiosis process until the egg is fertilized by the sperm so it's a discontinuous process it's only completed on fertilization it occurs in the ovaries mainly in the ovaries because the final part of it occurs in the fallopian tube or in the um, in the uterus. Uh, women are born with all of their eggs um, and ovulation starts at puberty and ceases at menopause. Now here's the other important thing. We only get one over from this process of meiosis and we get polar bodies, two or three polar bodies and one over. So then Remember it was about comparing, comparing and contrasting spermatogenesis and oogenesis. So um, the best thing to do is to have a look at them side by side. So spermatogenesis is continuous, whereas oogenesis is uh, a discontinuous stop and start process. Spermatogenesis occurs in the testes, uh, oogenesis occurs in the ovaries. Um, Spermatogenesis occurs for all of an adult male's life. Um, women are born with all of the eggs that they're going to get and they ovulate from puberty to menopause. Spermatogenesis, four haploid sperm cells are produced. Oogenesis, only one ova and two to three polar bodies. There you go. Uh, so a much shorter one today.